Are you looking for the best clothes for welding? In this video, we will look at some of the three best clothes on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Rapika 16 inches. The Rapika welding gloves are my top pick because they are durable, well-made, and super affordable. Basically, they check all my boxes. The design of the Rapika makes them perfect for MIG welding. Personally, I love their length. I believe it's the perfect length for a MIG welding glove because it covers about half of your forearm, and that's really all you need for MIG welding. Also, you don't have to wear long sleeves in summer. You'll like how these gloves combine safety and functionality. They have a reinforced second layer of leather on the fingers and palms to protect you from injury, but they're still very flexible and easy to work with. In fact, the Rapikas are super comfortable. They're made from cowhide leather, which is great because it makes them thick yet soft and breathable, so you can wear them for hours without experiencing discomfort. The inside lining is made from breathable cotton. Between the cowhide and cotton, there's an isolating layer of aluminum foil that keeps your arms safe from the heat. Another thing I love about this glove is the color. It's yellow and blue so it makes it stick out in a shop and therefore it's easy to find, we all forget where we put the gloves. You can also get it in a black and gray version if you don't like the colors, but I personally prefer the yellow. On the downside, one size fits all is never a true statement, so if you have smaller hands this probably isn't the glove for you. Most men that work in welding would probably be fine with them, but if you have smaller hands, I'd suggest a different product that allows you to pick a size when ordering. I've come across a few user complaints that claim the stitches didn't last more than a couple of days. Considering the fact that the stitches are made from Kevlar I seriously doubt this would happen. Of course, they will break eventually, nothing can last forever when you work with heat, flames, radiation, sharp objects, etc., but probably not after a few days. Another rare issue is that the inner lining of the glove comes out when users take their hand out. I'm sure that there isn't a single person in the world that wouldn't be annoyed by this, but this is probably a manufacturing mistake that may happen now and then and not a common issue. In any case, the seller has a return policy if you're not satisfied with the product. So, if you find anything faulty, you can just send it back. All in all, I would recommend these gloves if you have medium or large-sized hands and work with stick or MIG welders. Number 2. Revco GM1611. The Revco GM1611 gloves will give you reinforcement where you need it while remaining soft and flexible. Although I prefer a bit longer cuffs, the rest of this glove seems very well thought out. Every reinforcing patch is specifically designed so that it won't affect mobility, yet it will give you that extra protection. The color is also very helpful so you can spot them easily in the shop. I really love how the patches were put together. You get one on the index finger, on the thumb and palm, really helpful when you use them to grab warm or sharp metal. Although it's all leather, only the patches and backside are made from split cowhide leather while the rest is grain. They also have a drag patch on the side for gliding on the surface you're welding, and a rest patch for the wrist, which is useful if you're gonna do horizontal welding for hours at a time. These Revco gloves are both long-lasting and comfortable. Everything is sewn with Kevlar for durability. The inside lining is made from soft, thin cotton so it doesn't make them bulky. Most importantly, they come in all sizes, from small to XX large. No one-size-fits-all nonsense. Although if you look at the negative reviews, you'll find the usual issues people have with welding gloves, like, the stitches broke after a few days, the inside lining comes off, not very good for heavy-duty construction use, DUH, however, they seem to be isolated cases. Like with every product you buy, you just might run into one that was made faulty. To be honest, of course every single pair of gloves will wear out eventually, and of course you can't use them for all types of construction work. These Revco gloves are specialized for MIG, and also stick, welding, and for that, they are close to perfect. Number 3. Lincoln Electric Premium TIG Welding Gloves. I personally have never used these gloves, but the owner of the shop where I work swears that they are the best pair of TIG welding gloves you could get. Let's dive into their specifications. Just like the Tillman 1338, 
They are made from goatskin for lightness and increased flexibility, and they have Kali 4 foot cuffs. But even at first glance, you can tell that more thought was put into designing these. You can clearly see the reinforced palm parts that give you a firmer grip. Lincoln Electric included a very clever feature here, there are three separate finger pieces. The thumb is a separate piece, as well as the index finger, and the last three fingers are made from a single piece of leather. This is really helpful because it gives your thumb and index finger extra mobility. The gloves also have reinforced fingertips for durability and the stitchings are made from Kevlar, so they don't burn and break. Another super important feature these gloves include is the top hand inside lining. This increases heat resistance when you use your other hand for wind cover for welding outside. The padded palm is useful for grabbing pieces of metal without worrying it will pierce through, and they also include a glide patch on the side. If you don't have much experience with TIG welding, these might be a bit bulky for you. When you're just starting with TIG you want to feel like you aren't wearing gloves at all, and the Lincoln Electrics won't give you that. However, a more experienced welder would probably be fine with them. Some potential drawbacks are that in a few cases, the top hand lining was not sewn properly and came off after a couple of days. Another possible issue is that some of the stitching might break easily. Again, this is probably just a manufacturing mistake that only happens now and then. What most people complain about is the size. They always seem to be a size smaller than advertised, so you can't use these if you have extra large hands, something to take into consideration before buying them. On paper, the Lincoln Electric Premium TIG welding gloves seem like a better choice than Tillman 1338 because of all the extra features, but they usually cost about twice as much and I don't see why. The bulkiness is also a very important issue for me as I like to feel gloveless when welding, but this is just my personal preference.